Hurricane Harvey presented challenges for people that they just, for some would have just been insurmountable, but it brought together this community in ways that nobody ever expected. I'm Dr. Lindsay Jackson, actually a general surgeon by training that uh, went into e emergency medicine, uh, have a PhD and a master's in cell biology and was always interested in IV nutrition and IV vitamins. So started Revive Med Spa in 2015. The thing that I think we treat the most commonly is just illness. So people coming down with the flu, sinus problems, um, the vomiting bug that goes around, uh, they can come in here and generally get a pretty quick fix. We have medications and vitamins, so it's kind of a combination therapy. So that's our most common scenario, but we also see other populations like people who've had gastric bypass surgery and don't absorb these nutrients from their food or with chronic inflammatory conditions and also with cancer. I see a lot of cancer patients and, and focus on nutrition for them while they go through chemotherapy. So they're really two, two very different business points. The IV side um, with its clientele and the, and the med spa with its, with its clientele as well, but it, it's worked well to, to blend them. Some clients benefit from both services, and uh, so it's, it's, it's been a nice blend. Revive Med Spa, this is Summer, I can help you. Okay, so the night that it happened, we had ended up staying home because we heard it was gonna get really bad. We had walked to my sister-in-law who lives two streets over and a friend texted and said, oh my gosh, the water is getting up to the cars. I thought there's no way. This is not a test. Citizens are advised to take the following steps. And literally when we opened up her door, it was coming up. We couldn't even see the road, we couldn't see the grass. And we just could not believe like how quickly the water, I mean, it just, everything floods so quickly. We didn't realize that Dr. Jackson had gotten rescued, nothing. And so she had sent us a group text saying, hey, uh, we just had to get rescued by boat. She took a picture of her vibe and when she sent that picture, my heart just dropped. And we had just expanded. She just bought all this furniture. I mean, within like weeks, it was just gone. Yeah, that was um, not something that we ever really saw happening or had planned for in any way. Um, when it came through, pretty much destroyed everything that we had here. We had five feet of water in, in the facility, so lost all of our equipment, all of our furniture, which was less than a year old. The first week was pretty tenuous. We also lost our home, so we were taken from the home by boat, and I was staying across town to where I couldn't even access the facility for the first week. Luckily, some of our workers, they live locally, and they lived closer to the spa. They were able to kayak here and get a look inside of what we were dealing with so that we could start making plans for where we were gonna go from there. Front reception desk. <laughs> Everything floating. Our workers, our treatment rooms. And there was no electricity. Everything underwater. Yep. And they gutted it. We did have some clientele that depended on weekly IV infusions for, for malabsorption issues and you know, or, or cancer patients. So we were like, we need to keep this going. So the fact that we were taken in by a competitor um, and also by another facility that, that was using mind body in a chiropractic office and, and they, they kept our, our customers, they kept us in business 
at a time that we weren't going to be able to afford to do that. And, and so we, we were able to pay that forward on day one when we were able to reopen here by taking in the business that's, that's located just across from this parking lot. Their, their building has been condemned. They were in the same situation we were, except they weren't able to rebuild the facility because they needed to come see if it was able to be rebuilt. And so we just, we just brought them in. They've been here ever since with us, and it's been nice to see everybody helping everybody else. We are actually behind us in the park. We got almost five feet of water. It was a uh, 3,200 square foot house. So a really big house. We had all services. We had um, hair, massage, skincare, makeup, all that stuff, everything but nails. So we were all in there and then the flood kind of happened. Basically walking in right after it all happened, I prepared myself because I saw my home first. I saw that it flooded, so I had a chance to prepare what was going to happen at the salon. I knew that everything was going to be destroyed, everything was underwater, I knew everything would be turned over. So I was prepared for that, but once I started walking around, that's when it hit me like everything I had worked hard for is gone. It was heartbreaking. I broke down eventually. And it, it's just, it's kind of shell shock because you're like, wow, all of this can be gone in minutes. It can just go away and you work so hard and give up so much to make it your dream come true and then it's gone. You really have to find a peace of mind where you can just trust that everything's gonna be okay. And not only do you have friends who lift you up and family who lifts you up, that's what ends up pushing you. And it does put everything into perspective. All of these things are things. You can't take them with you. They don't make you who you are, and so you can replace things. And so that's what I tell myself when I come and see my favorite things destroyed. I'm like, you can buy other things. It's okay. You can work towards that. It will be okay. Having the community step in and, and do this for us and rebuild us was such a huge thing because I really was like thinking this, this is a sign that maybe I'm supposed to focus on my family or stay in emergency medicine or, or, or something. Um, but, they, but they just showed me, they showed me that, that this is my place. I, I never would have I never would have guessed we would be here and certainly not expanding again or doubling in size again it's I, I would just say thank you to to all of those people I mean it's just it's just amazing